largest urban music festivals is going on right now here in the Tri-State. Thousands of people come to the Cincinnati Music Festival for the R&B, the jazz, and as Megan Mangello shows us, the fashion. Yes, indeed. Come on, face <laughs> now. Yeah. Samantha's excited, not just about her hair, but about a weekend of fun at the Cincinnati Music Festival. These ladies are getting all glammed up. Just something cute and sexy, that's all. May is going too. In fact, she's been a regular for the past 20 to 30 years. When they were in the ballpark, I went down there for that. And every year when Frankie Beverly come, I'm there. I just love to hear him sing. This man here, he wears a ball fade, but a lot of the young guys, younger guys wear tapers, uh, where it's tapered down, low on the side with a lot of hair on the top. At Stag's Barber and Beauty Shop in Avondale, lots of customers want a fresh look for the weekend. The chairs were also filled for Giovanni. Braids, shortcuts, twists, and froze are in. She expects many ladies to embrace their natural style because of the heat. It's the devil when it comes to keeping our hair straight, especially if it's not chemically processed. Um, it'll just revert. So they'll be cute for half of the show. After that, it'll just revert back to what their hair naturally looks like. From hairstyles to fashion, you have to look good if you're going to the Music Fest this weekend. It'll be hot, so this white linen outfit from Wendell's could be a popular pick. It's short sleeve, and it even has white spikes on the collar. For a more casual look, check out these jeans. Rockstar and Robin's jeans are hot items. One pair could cost 800 bucks. How about these $250 gaiters? Our selection is really unique based on the colors because we have uh, different flavors and stuff like that. Purple. Like, yeah, the purple, the white, the red, and then like the two-tone. Wendell's on West 6th Street is a destination for out-of-towners. Eugene Bird and his group of 10 made the trip to the Queen City. All the way from East St. Louis, Illinois, here in Cincinnati, Ohio, to enjoy the music festival. Spend some money, leave some money, have a good time. That money adds up to more than $10 million. The Cincinnati USA Regional Tourism Network says this event brings in the most hospitality money of the year. Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. I can remember when it was called the Jazz Festival, yes, remember? Yes, of course. And Dino's was the place to go and oh, buy your clothing yeah. at the time. Yeah. And I guess